Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Doom Labor, I'm your Evil Overlord and welcome to another replay of Rise of Threads 1.86. Now this replay is the last replay that I took from the December 11th livestream. So after this we are completely done with casting all of the games that I had saved from that. Also, let me check something on Skype really quick. Nothing interesting. Um, since this was taken from a uh, actual stream, there's not going to be a replay in the movie description. So let us dive right in. So on the Homeland Rocks we have Dell as Russia and Into the Rain as China. Uh, I don't know when you are going to be watching this, be it on the day that it comes out or like sometime later in the future. Uh, this is actually being recorded on December 23rd, 2015. But it's going to be uploaded, at least uh, for me, on the day of Christmas Eve 2015. Because I'm a little ahead in videos. It's going to be uploaded at exactly 12 a.m. my time. Central European time. So, for those that are going to be watching this, Merry Christmas. In advance. Seeing a barracks over here by uh, uh, Dell already. Sending a crane out over here as well. See a listening outpost. Uh, into the radius building is. Uh, excuse me. It's a little early for me. I know. 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, it's early. Uh, barracks over here, and into the rain went for both of his supplies. Dell didn't do that just yet. But he's already at the war factory. But he's got an RPG conscript taking care of that listening outpost. He's also going for this supplies. And these supplies for now are unchallenged. Okay, sorry, I was just checking something on Skype again. I see another barracks over here from Dell. Well, into the raid, he's got a couple of infantry everywhere. Now, I have casted this game before, as, uh, of course, as this was part of a replay or a uh, live stream. Although it was part of the solo request re uh, stream at that point. I barely remember anything, it was already too long ago. But from my memory I saved this because it looked like a good uh, match, so I thought like why not. Both players going up with tier 1. Into the Raid is already at tier 1, it's now building this airfield. While the weapons bunker is going up for Dell, just now. I believe that Dell eventually will go for his supplies over there, but I'm seeing a little group of uh, Gatling tanks over here. Ah, some good coffee. Good, good coffee. And a couple of BMPs. Gatling tanks are uh, going to assault the uh, collectors over here. Gonna have to deal with the Kodiak. And the BMP. This one Gatling tank is already destroyed. MTP comes out of the thing over there. Another barracks over here. And that assault was a little bit of a waste. There you go. I am seeing, in the meantime, that Dallas captured the uh, artillery platform here. But he's gonna, he may lose that. Unless the MTP is gonna drive over. Oh. Back up or not? Yes! Backed up. Right, a couple of dragon tanks, a few uh, battle masters just uh, assaulting this area here. Spy warehouse. 
was destroyed before it could be completely sold. And as you can see, nice use of the firewall. Destroys the artillery base. They come a couple of bigs. As the last dragon tank is going to fall as well over there. Now, let us see. I see three more dragon tanks. Seems that uh, into the red is at tier two already, and we have that recovery. See so a couple of Igo troopers, as it's been obvious for uh, Dell that into the rain has got his mix. I see another war factory going up. So the dragon tanks seem to be going a little long way around. So we've got some tank hunters here. And Dell has also gone for the supplies over here. He's garrisoned all of the structures. And pulling a Dilby. With low power as he's building a cash set over here. Low power probably due to the industrial plant. Yes, and immediately building a power plant. Although the dragon tanks can't be prevented. Cash set was denied. There we go. Do we have here? Nothing much of anything. Garrison's getting cleared as well. There you go. And it seems that they'll immediately move out of here, sold everything. Et voila. See ya. Uh, ooh, Overlord. Look, Ma! I'm on the field! A helipad is going up. Mishka. As Dell is finally capturing his oil derrick. Into the raid already captured his. See two Hans, four MiGs. Got a speaker lord and a Gatling lord, I guess. No, two speaker lords. And we've got a little confrontation over here. Unfortunately, we all the tank hunters. There's no NTR in this group. And I say unfortunately because I did show you that a, a helipad was being made. Got a Mustang. Not advanced artillery systems. We do have the uh, assault armaments. But nothing else yet. And the overlords are all that's left. See an ECM tank, another overlord over here, mix coming in. And first Hellion, we see that the Mastal was destroyed. Oh, poor conscript. Had to deal with three o two overlords. Although the Mastal was recovered over there. Uh, the dragon tanks, I guess, have been destroyed. I'm seeing three spots over here. That seems to be a recent one. That was a Kashak, I believe. The Sentinels versus overlords. Oh, was it? Was it this? Was this the match that... Uh well, it could be. I, re I suddenly remember that during that part of the livestream people were uh, contemplating who would win in a 1v1, a, a Sentinel or an Overlord. And this might very well be that particular match. Well, that was four Sentinels versus... or four Overlords versus one Sentinel, so it wasn't really fair. But still... No, well, overlords are almost dead. And the Mustad just drove into the minefield that was dropped. And 
War Factory will go down. I see a VDV coming in. It is rank 2. Shock Trooper there as well. Alien comes in. And takes care of things. Noise! Our gunships are moving out. Two over here. Oh yeah, remember that. Seems that uh, into the Raiders now claiming these supplies. This is also working on his tier 2 Eco. I don't think he has an internet center. Not by the looks of things. See, hide over here. That was destroyed. And two more overlords. Move again. Got the sentinels. The Mishka was clearing out a few mines. Right, three more overlords over here. Bunches of tank hunters, I guess. A red guards. Mix guarding that area. Hans guarding this area. There to eco being set up over there. Our stealers getting loaded up over there. Oil Derek now getting captured. And into the raid doing some long range supply collection in the west. As these supplies have run out. Dell has indeed gone for those supplies at long last, but he does have a uh, listening outpost in his base. And we've got a bit of a conflict over here. Guess that was the VDV? Uh, at least the shock trooper. But that hole is gonna go down within no time. See uh, the comp compressed missile engines. I still don't see that. No era armor. Yet Goliath. Let's see the other upgrades. Nuclear engines. Rank will backfire over here. Not even nationalism on uh, here. No big armor. No black napalm. Oh, that was a uh, red card. And the big goes down. As he said. Gatling tank getting built up over here as uh, Into the Rain decided to uh, decrease the range of the supply collection in the west. Now he's got both supplies under his control. Actually, this one got destroyed. Or salt. But he does have the oil, Derek. Two sentinels. Both with Arena. Uh, not a mind drop over here. And into the rain capturing the repair bay. Oh, got some hides over here. Well, it's another VDV drop. A 
but I guess that they got killed because of the mines. That suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Let's return to base. Yeah, I believe this was just the uh, Overlord versus Sentinel spawn. Really. And the uh, supply yard has been sold or destroyed. Either or. Let's see what the eyes are gonna do this time. Nothing. I see a couple of twin fangs as well. More twin fangs. Another twin fang. Bunches of uh, listening outposts with uh, hackers, of course. Just a bunch of infantry. Sorry that I'm yawning so much, it's been a bit of a busy week at work already. I know it's only Wednesday, but uh, trust me, I've worked about 25% more in the first two days of this week than I normally do, so yeah. Nuclear shells as well on the uh, overlords and thus the battlemasters and hoppers if he had them. Still no nationalism. Uh, way supplies, way supplies, way supplies have run out. You see the Hans? Unupgraded, unequipped. Trying to protect this area, Mix joined it as well, but they are retreating. Since the VDVs are gone completely now, into the rake and just commence his uh, supply collection. And uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five overlords. Quite a lot of firepower. A couple more dragon tanks, as you can see, up completely upgraded. Supply trucks, who of course can fight from Dell, now claiming the supplies over here. So there's these supplies, and uh, th those supplies have completely run out. So these, uh, this is all that is left. Dragon takes to the group of uh, red cards are moving in. It's quite a powerful gun though. See another VDV drop over here. The reg will backfire incoming. On a single twin fang. Okay. I take taking care of the dragon tanks over here. As well as the uh, garrisons. Here we go. Finally some more action. I see Inferno Cannons with Volatile Incendiaries, luckily.
Ooh. No, the mine drop comes in. And that takes care of one sentinel. It's now with advanced artillery systems destroyed. One sentinel manages to escape, another one comes in. Another one starts. And yeah, I think that this is about over. If I recall. The oh, wait, there's more stuff over here. Whoa! What do we have here? Napalm strike! As you can see, no black napalm yet. War factory gone! The Sentinel is still being assaulted, and it's gone, and B is gone. Here comes a danger close, Foam! And all that is left out of this assault is a single Inferno Cannon. War Factory is getting rebuilt over here. So the Hellion took the final kill. As you can see it's not upgraded at all. More Overlords. Let's have a quick look at the money. Down below 2000. Into the rain. Got over 5,000. Well, Black Lotus, though, where? Black Lotus has been discovered. Oh, yeah, here. Well, good thing I decided to do that. Because now we can see Black Lotus getting killed. Arms dealers getting set up at the back of the base over here. Bleep. Not a VDV drop. Not a cash hack. Mishka clearly got more mines. Four more overlords. One twin fang. Four, five more uh, inferno cannons. Nothing done with the Hans. Barely has any upgrades, really sad. Oh nice, the next take care of the VDV armors. Just the infantry left. And we're on the move again. Neither player are giving each other really much of a breather. More recovery. The VDVs. Marina components on the Sentinel, of course. And we're moving in again. All of the VDV infantry getting uh, roasted. Rank 2 backfire on the Inferno cannons, actually successful, 1 survives, 2 survive, Next come in, that takes care of the sentinel, Elliot, goes down, Barracks goes down, 2 more overlords left, Two more twin face left. One inferno cannon. This don't look good. Now the barracks getting built over here. I hit the Hans over here, but they're not doing anything yet. Alien took care of the uh, inferno cannon. Ah. Oh. Poor call script.
That goes to weapons bunker. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's gonna take care of the aerial threats of Russia here. Nothing much going on over here. There's still two aliens left. Lights are gone, it seems. And why is he retreating? Also moving in. Is he gonna regroup? Is he gonna split his forces up? He's got a bunch more overlords and a bunch more uh, Inferno Cannons moving in. He's gonna give his opponent some chance to rebuild as I'm seeing overlords. Uh, sorry, golems. And then we start again. Not a construction crane. Vex coming in. All the Mustah and the MTP. That's the good target. But the recovery, there you go. Got everything moving in again. All of getting mad. Burn down, another sentinel. And down goes that golem, not a mistake comes in. It's not gonna do much. VDV. Rank 2. It's gonna say hi to the hog gunships. EMP with a FOAP as well. Oh, nice. And that is all of that gone again. Danger close FOAP. Once again. That which says. Let's see. Oh! See the remnants of another... Uh... Oh, I always forget the name of that. Napalm Strike. But as you can see, it's just Overlords, Overlords, Overlords. This time an ECM and a uh, Troop Crawler join in. Still, no nationalism. He does have the subliminal messages. The, oh, Shenlong at long last. As you can see, isotope stability. No black napalm still, no nationalism still. Era armor has been upgraded. Uh, anything else? Let's see. All right. Yes. And now he's gonna try it from this angle. To be honest, I don't really remember who won this. Might actually have uh, been Dell. But oh well. Back to backfire. Do a lot of damage. Got a mind drop over here. Go right for the command center. So it's gonna go down. What's the uh, target of the assault? Aliens. No anti air this time. The minus the uh, Gatling tank, Gatling turrets. They're using their uh, Goliath system.
That takes care of this assault. But not even the big was enough to kill. Uh, Sentinel clearing out some mines over here. Finally, some scouting. <coughs> uh, well, yeah, more overlords. It's just going to be overlords, overlords, overlords. Stars over here. Uh, if I got quiet, I'm just checking out some stuff on Skype. There's a few things going on that I simply cannot miss. So the supplies have not been uh, gone for on either side. So the players are just running on their oils and their tier 2 eco. We have a bunker over here, we have another war factory over here. I also see the helipad over here, of course. So far it's just the heavy armor. Shock troopers. As you can see, not the, uh, no medicates yet. <coughs> More inferno cannons. I'm suddenly getting an idea for something that I want to try out at some point. Oh boy. Well. I'm kind of tempted to just fast forward, but I won't. Because there's not much going on at all. As you can see. I could basically just make myself another cup of coffee and nothing will have happened. <laughs> nah, just kidding. We're moving out again! Four overlords this time, which shouldn't be enough <coughs> at all. Two twin fangs and five inferno cannons. We finally see an artillery barrage coming in. Not a napalm strike on the industrial plant. Napalm or the uh, artillery barrage is there as well, and down goes the industrial plants. So that did what it had to. And it's immediately getting rebuilt over here. I also see a caster getting built over here. And I see Boris. Now the mine drop comes in too. See a lot, a lot, a lot of grumbles. And the Overlord seem to be moving in. Another one joins in over here. And we're just moving out again. 
There goes the cash turn. It's RPG Boris by the looks of things. Yes. There's a little firestorm. One sentinel down. Two more. Mix coming in. Take down on the star or two. And again. There's not enough firepower. He does finally have big armor though into the rain. Four more overlords. Not a dragon tank. Still no nationalism. Still no black napalm. I believe that I told him that that was his failure. That's why I believe. That's why I said that I think Dell was gonna win. Because I recall explaining that uh, into the rain not using nationalism was a massive, massive. Waste of a lot of stuff. In comes another foe app. Gonna hit straight over here. And takes care of all of that. Minus two overlords. One that was there, one that just came there. <coughs> Industrial plant has been rebuilt over here this time. It got failed over here, I guess. Another hide. Seeing some Iglas. And uh, more of horse, of course. Somehow the airfield got destroyed. I don't know how, but it did. Maybe it was a uh, backfire, rank two. <coughs> yeah, it seemed like it. Back, rank two backfire. Still though. Let's open the fire on the uh, repair bay. I recall that. Yeah, there's a whole lot of stuff wrong with this base. With this playstyle. Aliens retreating. Finally having Goliath, of course. Still no uh, thermobatics, sadly. A very very fun thing if you ask me. Comes a VDV drop. I believe we're gonna actually see some assaults going on. Go on or uh, infantry getting dropped from the hides. Eagle troopers and shock troopers so by the looks of things. Here we go. Down goes the barracks. Although it wasn't used at all anymore. Artillery Brush is going to strike this area. I think it's going to miss its target completely because its target is just going to move out. Hides have been destroyed in the meantime. And... Well, it actually did hit the target. But that takes care of that. Nice placement. I believe that was a rank 2 artillery brush. Oh, what do you know? More overlords. 
Boris over here. But I think that's, uh, well, beyond thermal barracks. So I can't really see. Well, maybe some infantry related stuff. Yeah, just infantry related stuff and thermal barracks. But I think beyond that, that Dell is completely upgraded. RPG boards just taking care of the oil derrick over here. Gonna have to say hi to the Hun. <coughs> <laughs> oil derrick was destroyed. Just needed one more missile. Boris just left the uh, sight of range. Range of sight. After all, it was like, nah, not gonna let you have your fun. Speaker Tower. The very first of the match. More than 40 minutes in. Another one going up over here. But I guess that they just serve as uh, stealth detection as it has been upgraded to a sensor tower. But this one will be upgraded too to a sensor tower I believe. Yes. Another ring to backfire. Not really that effective. Did destroy some things, but not a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven overlords. Most I've seen in a single group thus far. And Lotus is there. And long, long, long last. Although, where's the barracks? There is no barracks, so she must have been out there for quite a while, but never done anything. Oh, well. It seems that uh, Dell is pulling up his forces. I've got a group over here and a group over here. <coughs> and a few Hellions. Uh, uh, yeah, Hellions. Twin Fight goes to the left. Already these three, th those two twin fives. We're just gonna say hello to the uh, rumble, but they're paying the price. Got a mine drop right over here in the, the left area. But a golem comes out of that war factory. Three hoids. Are you gonna see some uh, action? ECM or uh, EMP drop coming in? That is to, sh to shut down everything except this one single sentinel. Two bastards are joining in. In comes a FOAP. In come the Hines. Well, it does take care of uh, most, if not, oh, actually all of the Inferno Cannons. I'm choosing the Goliath. Not enough anti air to chase away the Hines and the Golems. Or the overlords are retreating. Down go the heights. I see a uh, grizzly. The EP stuff has been uh, set free once again and is now moving in. I also see the movement over here. Stavishka has taken care of the mines. Uh, yeah, I believe this is going to be the last push that is needed. Shock Troopers as well. 
Comes a lot of VDV drop. And into the rain calls it quits right here. You have been defeated. Seeing how his uh, strategy of just using overlords didn't work out. Yeah. Look at the amount of units created. But in terms of supplies, not really that much of a difference. But the lack of upgrades on uh, into the rain site, I believe, in this case, is definitely one of the main reasons he lost. Plus, just trying to do the same thing over and over and over again is also something that screwed him over in the long run. Anyway, I do hope that you enjoyed this replay. If you did, leave a like because it means a lot to me. Uh, once again, since this was taken from a uh, stream, I'm, uh, I won't be able to leave a link in the movie description for anything that relates to this replay. But I do hope you have a wonderful Christmas if you see this uh, on, the, uh, on the day that it goes out. And if not, well, hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Anyway, my name is Hector Doomember. I thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.